Good morning, Nancy Burpreece here, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's all my contact information. Oh my goodness, I'll have to add the June host code. I forgot to print that out. But if you have any questions, please reach out to me. So that's my contact information. Ignore that May code. Facebook business page and my YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and watch to the end. And in the link to this video on YouTube, I will have my correct host code. And I will do the same on my Facebook Live. Sorry about that. So today I'm not showing you what we're going to make because I am making it based on um, two things. One is a sketch in the catalog, which is on page 22. See all these sketches for you to use at the bottom? Um, I am using sketch number four at the bottom, if you go on the top row across on four. And I also saw another stamper, Do Stamping with Dawn, create this card. So I'm using Pretty in Pink. I have a four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. Then um, the great thing about a card sketch is, even with Dawn's, she didn't share measurements. I just kind of figured them out the way I wanted them to be. So this is Petunia Pop. It is three by five and a half. Nope, three by four and a half. Sorry, three by four and a half. This is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then um, we'll adhere that here. And... It's, it's fun. I was not using these sketches and then my team, we did a sketch challenge and we all came up with such beautiful cards. We decided really loved the sketches because they just give you something to start with. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere that. I got adhesive on my fingers. Um, adhere that to the card base. And this is using the Unbounded Beauty Designer Series paper, in case you're wondering. Um, I'm using the Unbounded Beauty Suite because I love the um, die cuts. Um, and I love the DSP. We'll maybe organize that in a little bit. The saying I'm using is from Sketched Butterflies, which I haven't even opened. But I wanted to... Um, show you, because I haven't done this in a while, is how do I mount my cling stamps. So I take the cling part up, I haven't even used this one yet, and I find the correct saying. So this one is wishing you a happy birthday. So I make sure I've got the correct saying. I'm going to go ahead, if you notice that it's open on both ends here. I'm just going to kind of pick it up with my fingernails or I can get my take your pick tool, but I think I can get it. Then what I'm going to do is take the backing off of here to make it a cling. So then what I do, other people do it lots of different ways. This is how I find best for me is I put it straight on and pick up that part. Now, if you've been with me, you know that everybody laughs, but I do what I call stamp surgery. I have a lot of people using my stamps at my classes, and so to not get those extra little marks, I, I have a pair of craft and rubber scissors that Stampin' Up! used to sell. They don't sell anymore, but you could probably find them at a craft store, and they're really good at cutting the rubber. And I just go around any place I think that there might be extra. Can you use a regular pair of scissors? Yes. It might dull the blade, just so you know. That way, it's ready to stamp. Now, you can do this two different ways. You can stamp on it first and then cut it out. I already have it cut it out, cutting out, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and... Stamp straight down, pick it straight up. Now, is it 100% lined up? Eh, maybe not. So I'm going to try it again. 
Then I also have to make sure, do I have this? So this is a good category where you may want to cut it out first, but let's see if I can get it. I can't talk when I'm doing it. Oh, that one was worse. <clears throat> so I think that one's probably better. So this would be a good example of if you're home by yourself, you can just go ahead and um, stamp it and then cut it out. It just makes your life easier. Um, okay, so I wanted to show you how um, Dawn did this sketch and I thought it was so beautiful. Um, I'm going to just take some scissors and this piece is a half inch by four. And I'm just gonna cut it a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of cut it at an edge. You don't have to, that's my own personal thing. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna pop this up. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you, and I didn't, of course, get it out, is the In Color Glimmer Paper. And it is gorgeous. It's so pretty. So if you haven't, you know, got the In Color, in color say that three times, Glimmer Paper, you might wanna think about it because it's so pretty. I can either use, I think I am, well, let me show you the other one and see, I'm either gonna do the Petunia Pop or the Pretty in Pink. I'm doing the Petunia Pop. That, I mean, I love the Pretty in Pink, but that Petunia Pop is gorgeous. Now, when you're cutting Glimmer Paper, um, one suggestion would be to cut it upside down. And I'm going to just cut it um, four inches. So I'm going to take my 12 by 12 sheet. I cut it at four. And then I'm just going to cut a half an inch off so that I can cut it anywhere I want. So now I have to kind of organize this. And maybe I want to, I might snip this off a little bit. Not quite as long. So I'm kind of thinking, how am I, How do I want this? I kind of want that. And then this is going to go kind of on top of that. And then this will go here. So it's fun to try to um, use a sketch in stamping. That's really a challenge, um, but I find it really fun. All right, let me get those lined up. So I kind of know how big I want it. I'm just going to trim that off. Um, and I'm going to adhere this down first with a little bit of Stampin' Seal. Um, I'm going to put that like here. I'm going to add a little bit of Stampin' Seal or green glue, whichever adhesive you want. <clears throat> on the back. I might kind of bring it down just a little bit. Then I'm going to pop up the same. I say that one's just a smidgy crooked, but I'm going to leave it go for now. Um, and then the last thing I would probably do is add some beautiful, I could either do the resin dots, but I'm thinking, oops, that's the purple. I'm thinking I'm going to do some of the in color uh, glimmer gems and just add a couple, like maybe... There is no right or wrong. Somebody's like, I don't know where to add these. It's not a problem. You can do anything you want. You can do like two here and maybe another one down here. And the only thing I would put on the inside is just a little piece of DSP. And you've got an easy, quick, fun card. So this is sketch number four. 
I hope you give sketch number four a try. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. And, and share your cards in the comments. I'd love to see what you're making. Have a great day.